Speaking out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't TEDx a platform to speak out? To share your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas? A way to express yourself? Yes, it is, but that's not quite what I mean. Look at today's society, for example. All the riots and protests happening all over the world. That is speaking out without a program to coach you without TEDx, without the comfort of not being judged. Another example of a situation is at home or at school. We are afraid to speak out in these places for the fear of getting into trouble or for the fear of causing something we knew we could have completely avoided. We are also scared because we've seen the few people that actually have the strength and bravery to say something, get shut down, shouted at, or worse. People tell us that it's okay to say how you feel. You have the right to say something, but they shut others down for doing so. And because of this, we stay silent, we don't fight back, and we don't say anything. I always wondered when I was scrolling through my social media, why my generation was considered the lazy generation, when people wouldn't even listen to what we had to say about current global or national issues. For example, whether Trump's hair is real or fake, which I hope we all know the answer to that question. And for a very long time, I thought that it would be better off if we stayed silent if we let the problems solve themselves. But I learned something, a very valuable message that I wanted to share with all of you. My mom always told me that the news doesn't always show you the good parts, mostly the bad. And it stuck with me since. Have you noticed all those things that you see on the news are talking to you mostly about the problems and not all the good things and the solutions that are being made in this world. Because peace doesn't make a good story. And they want to use this news to scare us from doing what others are doing, trying to fight. I had an argument with my little brother a few weeks back. I had wanted to go on a Brexit march in the UK. If you don't know what Brexit is, Brexit is Britain coming up with a deal to try and leave the EU, and so far, a deal hasn't been made. And so, I wanted to go on the march, but he was quite mad at me, and he was adamant that I wasn't going. And I wondered why. Until he told me that it was because of the Hong Kong protests that he had seen on TV. Because he had seen one of the students that had gone on this protest get shot by the police and he thought that I would be awaiting the same fate when I walked out of that door and that I wouldn't come home. And it saddened me to think that my little brother thought that anything could be changed from sitting in the couch, watching from the TV at home. And it got me thinking. If my nine-year-old brother can think that we can change anything from just sitting at home and watching TV, then what are kids younger than him thinking when they see this on TV? What are kids older than him thinking? And it led me to believe that when my generation are the future leaders, when we are making the decisions and we are trying to solve the problems, that they won't come to us and express their thoughts and feelings and their ideas on ways in which we can solve these problems. And I wanted to give a message to them. I wanted to tell them that it's okay to say how you feel. You have the freedom of speech. You have the right to speak out. It doesn't matter whether people like your opinion or they don't like it. Your opinion 
is completely valid. It is important, whether you're passionate about it or you're not. And I know it's easier said than done and that actions speak far louder than words. But nothing will change if we stay silent. Take the advice from someone who has been quiet for a very, very long time and is finally getting the chance to say something, finally getting the chance to speak out. Thank you.